75% of us are obese or overweight. Um, and that number keeps going up. Mm -hmm. And we keep doing the same things, which is Einstein's definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and hoping for a different outcome. Which is something that you talk about a lot, which I really love is you don't have to exercise in this really regimented way. Like that's not the only way to do it. You can just live it, right? Going to the park with your dog and throwing the ball would be a great example. You're not exercising, but you're totally exercising, Yeah, yeah, right? you don't even realize it. You know? You don't, yeah, right? How fun to exercise and not even realize it, right? So it, did you see a lot of that, you know, when you were visiting these communities? No, none of it. Yeah, you know, I, except for the Adventists, you never see people exercising. Exercising. Which is, a, I think, an important insight because we spend over $100 billion on exercise programs. Yeah. And it, it's, it's a, I mean, at a population level, it's an unmitigated failure. And people don't like to hear that. And, and people in the gym industry always get mad at me. But if you look, fewer than 24% get even 20 minutes of physical activity a day. Okay. That's, few, that's fewer than one in four. We'd be much better off, by the way, having walkable communities uh -huh. where everybody has to walk to work or school or, or to go get their groceries like people in blue zones. Then 100% of people yeah. get 20 minutes of, of and, and we're not spending the $100 million on CrossFit and, and yoga and Pilates and, you know, these are all nice things, but we don't do them. Yeah. Um, they're, they're great theoretically and they're great sort of business plans, but for, for populations, they're just not working for us. Mm -hmm. They're not working. 75% of us are obese or overweight. Um, and that number keeps going up. Mm -hmm. And we keep doing the same things, which is Einstein's definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and hoping for a different outcome. Um, so are there people who have the focus and the discipline to um, uh, get that aerobic exercise every day for the next 60 years, yeah. But I'm guessing it's single digit percentages of the people out there. So I'm interested in things that will benefit everybody living in America.